This video will show you how to install Rexnord's Steelflex grid coupling. Before beginning, ensure all installers are using the necessary personal protective equipment. Due to Steelflex's simple design, there are just a few components to work with when installing the coupling. Two hubs, the grid element, two aluminum covers, gaskets, and the necessary hardware. Before you start, inspect both the driving and the driven shafts, as well as hub bores, to make sure they are free of dirt and burrs. Also be sure the keys fit on the shafts properly. To begin, lightly coat seals with grease and place on the shafts before mounting the hubs. Mount the hubs on the respective shafts so that the hub faces flush with the end of the shaft. Tighten the set screws when furnished. If the hubs are heated for an interference fit, be sure to let the hubs cool before tightening the set screws. Once your hubs are correctly mounted, you must then set the gap between the hubs and check the angular alignment. Use a spacer bar equal in thickness to the gap specified in this table. Insert a spacer bar to the same depth at 90 degree intervals and measure the clearance between the bar and the hub face with feelers. The difference in minimum and maximum measurements must not exceed the angular installation limits specified in this table. You must check the offset misalignment. Align so that a straight edge rests squarely on both hubs as shown at 90 degree intervals and check with feelers, ensuring clearance does not exceed the parallel offset installation limit specified in this table. By minimizing misalignment, you are ensuring optimal performance of your coupling and your connected equipment. In both cases, adjust or shim as needed until your equipment is within the acceptable misalignment range for installation. To properly apply grease, first pack the gap in grooves with the lubricant, and then install the grid. Spread the grid slightly to pass over the coupling teeth. Pack the spaces between and around the grid with as much lubricant as possible and wipe off the excess grease flush with the top of the grid. Position the seals on the hub to line up with the grooves of the cover. Position the gaskets on the flange of the lower cover half and assemble the covers so that the match marks are on the same side. Push the gaskets in until they stop against the seals and secure the cover halves with fasteners, tightening to the torque ratings specified in this table. Make sure the gaskets stay in position during tightening of the fasteners. Remember to periodically lubricate your Steelflex coupling. We recommend the use of Falk LTG coupling grease in all Steelflex couplings. This extends the coupling warranty and relubrication interval to five years. Conventional grease brands will require relubrication once a year. Always replace solid plugs in the covers before operating and be aware that bearing grease should never be used to lubricate a Steelflex coupling. For more information or documentation on Rexnord products, please visit rexnord.com. To continue your Rexnord training, please visit the Rexnord University Online Learning Center or the Rexnord YouTube Library.